Hi there. If you're watching this, um, I'm going to be making this trivet on this Romax CNC router. This Romax CNC router I have for sale currently on Facebook. Uh, I'll be upgrading to a larger one in the near future. I really have no need for it. Um, it's in great condition. It's been rarely used. Um, with this project, I hope to find some people on YouTube that might be interested in purchasing it. Uh, it's at a really fair price. It's $2,500. Um, I do have the UC100 adapter, which you can use on any Windows computer. It, uh, it, it, it hooks through USB. And it allows you to send your G-code to the machine. This machine runs off um, Mach 3, and uh, Mach 3 is a great program. For, for all these CNC's. This has uh, Gecko, or not Gecko, um, it has, let's see, uh, it has Professional Series Gecko Drives, I believe. I believe Gecko's the right name. I'll have to look up the, the, the models for them, but um, it, uh, it works great. I, I, there's no issues with it. Everything works on it. Um, I had very good luck with it. And uh, I'm going to be doing this project in just in hopes to get some attention towards it. Because it, there's a lot of people that contact me. One person came out. I believe he was more or less looking for like a, like a 3D printer, not necessarily a CNC router. Because there's a big difference. Uh, CNC routers require you to have models and you have to deal with CAD and CAM and um, software to uh, so the CAM software would run the machine your CAD software um, um, you design the parts and well, actually the CAM software you uh, you create the G code in um, and then Mach 3 runs the machine um, there's a big difference it's not like you create a 3D model and you hit print with this, you have to create tool paths, you have to um, set heights for tools, you have to deal with you know your material, your setup. It's a lot more involved than a 3D printer, but um, the rewards are worth it. Um, this is kind of like a precursor to running like a high-end CNC mill, which I've done for years prior to this. But this is my home machine, it's fun. I have one I built in my garage that's much larger. Um, but in this project, what I'm going to be doing is I just machined in holes for these dowels because I'm going to put a piece of maple on here. I could cut four trivets, flip it over, and then put it down and machine the other side. And what I've done is I create a laser um, drill jig. So this drill jig fits on these dowels. And what I'll do is I'll take this drill jig, lay it on my maple drill out all those holes and then I can use just pop my maple on there and um, we'll machine that so this is the first video series of this kind that I've done so please forgive me for inconsistencies pauses and all that I didn't prepare any of this ahead of time um, but uh, hopefully um, you might learn something I'll include um, I do a lot of stuff in in Rhino and it may not be smooth and I may not voice over it, but this is Rhino right here, and this is the part rendered. Um, and here's my, my 2D curves that I'll be using to generate the stuff. So I do a lot in Rhino, I do a lot, a little, little bit of stuff in Fusion, which I'm not super great with, but um, I do do some stuff in Fusion and I do stuff in Vector Aspire, which is what I use to create my toolpaths for the machine. So if you like this sort of stuff and you wanna see more, please subscribe and uh, hopefully this video is worthwhile to watch and generate some interest in my Romax WD-1. So thank you and uh, I'll put this together and see you guys soon.